Hi guys, it's Matteo here and this is the new episode of Filmmaking Tips. This is the episode number three and I want to talk about a little bit, a little quick tour on my gears. The super tiny black magic pocket cinema camera. Here we go. This is my amazing camera and now you're you're looking at this camera like, oh wow, it's very small, but I'm gonna show you uh, on the rig how it's gonna look, because uh, it's gonna be actually pretty big. So yeah, uh, let's start with my bag. This is my Harry bag. The model is Basecamp 22L. I'm gonna put a link in the comments probably. And uh, this is my MacBook uh, Pro 15 inch retina display that I use for grade and edit all my videos that you saw online and uh, this is my tripod what I got here these are basically the components of my entire rig that I'm gonna show you in a bit um, I'm actually packing all this stuff for tomorrow because we going to Liverpool and I'm gonna shoot a, another one of my travel videos that you probably saw online so where to start? Okay, so I will start with this one. This is my cage. It's a tilt cage for my black magic pocket. And uh, it's pretty good actually, pretty solid. And uh, it's the top handle. So you can bring your camera like this. And this is like the uh, rig included in the package. Uh, not this plate, of course, but the rig. Uh, it's, uh, you you're gonna apply this cage, just the top here, and then you're gonna put this thing here on your rig. I'm actually shooting with an iPhone 6 Plus, so sorry for the quality, and I have to do everything with one end, but whatever. And here we go. So, and then, you know, you're gonna start to put your camera here and all the other stuff. When you buy a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, you wanna if you want to use Canon lenses or Nikon lenses or whatever, you want to buy an adapter. So I got the Metabone Speed Booster uh, for Nikon mount. Really happy with this. I got a Nikkor 50mm 1.4 here. This is my follow focus. That's a pretty cheap one. It's a Cam3 solid gear. I purchased it on... Uh, oh, what's the name of the website? Uh, ProIamShop.com, I guess. This is my DP4 Ponix D monitor with the LP6 batteries. These guys uh, is an amazing brand. Uh, they they do a lot of nice stuff. I really want to try the, their last monitor, the uh, 500 series, and uh, I got this viewfinder for my. DP4, so you basically attach this stuff here and uh, you're gonna see through this thing, your monitor. Really, really useful if you need to shoot outside. Um, I think these two products are currently out of the stock because yeah, there is this new 500 series so you can't find it on their website anymore, I think, but you definitely can find something on eBay. This is my Mate box. Uh, I purchased these as well on the it's a country and I purchased it on Pro IM shop as well. Uh, you can put your 4x4, 4x4 ND filter here. Oh here we go. Come back on the lenses. I don't know why I made this there. Whatever. Uh, this is my main lens. I always use this lens. I actually use this sneaker like a couple of times and I always use this one. This is an uh, 18 to 35 1.8 Sigma and it's actually amazing. Yeah, it, it's very very sharp especially with the speed booster. Uh, the real aperture is gonna be probably 0 0.95 or something and it's I suggest the lens for to everybody because it's really really handy because you have basically a really fast zoom lens and it's you know from 18 there is uh, actually uh, 
31 millimeters with the crop factor. So you have from a 31 to a 62, 35, 0, 62, I guess, something like this. And it's really amazing, great lens. Then we have a, yeah, a microphone, if we have to shoot some interview, it's an, uh, sorry, it's an external recorder, it's a Zoom H1. It's okay, uh, 100 bucks, so it's pretty handy. This is a super eight millimeters handle, and I attach my black magic just here, and uh, in this way I'm gonna have a super compact asset for my black magic. And uh, yeah, this is just a cable that goes from HDMI to micro HDMI. So this is one of the probably most important thing in my equipment list, and it's a TFN variable ND filter. 8 stops, so basically what this thing does is give you like 8 stop of light from minimum to max. What you want to have is a very high quality ND filter, so you're not going to lose any quality from the lens passing through the filter. My last thing is my little light, uh, Radio. Um, Radio just finished, uh, just finished a pretty good uh, pretty successful uh, Kickstarter campaign. A lot of you probably purchased it on the Kickstarter website and uh, they are now producing it and uh, this is like one of the first prototype. That's really it. This, these are all my gears here and uh, now I'm gonna put them on the rig. So here we are, uh, I beat it up a little bit um, my black magic and I don't know if you remember the black magic that I showed you like a few, more, few minutes ago but this looks like much more professional than before. So we got our matter box here, my god my follow focus here so we can quickly change our focus. We get our top handle here. Uh, this teal package is actually really, really good quality. Um, we get our meta bones here, so we can change the aperture. Yeah, and then we have this little thing here that it allows us to put the keep the micro HDMI pretty stable there, so it's not gonna move it. And uh, we have our HDMI cable going to the small HD monitor and we can use the viewfinder of the, the DP4 EVF or we can just open up this one and using our we use our monitor that it's pretty handy. This camera is very cheap the body is just $995 uh, but to give you an idea or what you really need after you purchase the body. You need this cage, because if you, you want to keep your camera safe or if you want to you wanna put your camera on a rig, you want a cage. So the cage is other $400. This thing here, monitor is $500 and the DP4 EVF is other $200 probably. So we're at uh, other $700 here. Uh, I spent probably $150 for the matte box and the follow focus. Then what do you need? Um, the adapter. Uh, why I'm telling you that you want one of these? This is $500 for Nikon and it's $600 for Canon, I guess. Basically, what this thing does, um, you reduce the crop factor. So if, you're, if you want to use the original mount of black magic pocket you're gonna have a speed a crop factor of 2.88 that is huge with this thing here your crop factor is gonna be 1.66 or 67 
so it reduces a lot the crop factor and it's gonna give you a one stop uh, aperture more so if this lens is 1.8 it's gonna be probably 0 0.95 or something like that other $500 for the adapter and you will need to spend another probably $100 for 10 black magic batteries or 8 black magic batteries and if you wanna um, have a V-mount battery, so you know you can purchase a V-mount battery with the plate, and that is gonna be probably three hundred dollars in total. And if you want to shoot raw and you don't want to have problems with the footage, you need these little cars here. They're really really fast car. So and these two things here are one hundred dollar each one, so other two hundred dollars. And uh, of course you want a recorder as well because you can't record audio from this camera. It's crap, we don't wanna use that. So you're gonna need an external recorder. And it's other, in this case it's $100. This thing is $200. So I hope this video will be helpful for you guys and uh, I'll see you for the next episode. Ciao, ciao.